Nosotros somos inmigrantes. En la situación en que nosotros emigramos es doloroso. Es algo muy duro. Y es duro para los grandes, pero es mucho más duro para los, los niños. Mis hijos, por ejemplo, el, la, la patria que conocen es Estados Unidos. Porque ellos vinieron a muy tierna edad. Y de, de su país de, de nacimiento no conocen nada. Siempre los mentalizamos de que al ser inmigrante íbamos a estar siempre en la mira de todo el resto y ser lo mejor. Hitra es una colaboración de dos muralistas de Kansas City y esta es su historia. My name is Isaac Tapia and I am originally from Mexico City. I was around eight years old when I came to the United States. I remember it was in April that we came and I turned nine in June. I have been living in Kansas City for about 22 years now. My name is Rodrigo Alvarez, and I was born in Rivera, Uruguay. I've been in Kansas City for 20 years. But Kansas City represents home, or at least that's what I want to call it. Or at least that's what I feel it is to me. I don't see myself doing anything else but painting. I paint to to represent um, my my family, my my culture, Latino family, basically to to be represented for in those places or spaces that we are not really welcome to. Paint to to create that space, a welcoming space where everyone feels represented. And within that representation, I'd like to, to invite people that look like me and just open conversation. Isaac and Rodrigo empezaron a trabajar juntos en el 2017. It's been such an amazing experience to work with somebody that's also very hardworking. We share a lot of time together. We share a lot of struggles together. Um, definitely, it's, it's, been, it's been awesome to see growth in him uh, and me and us. And it's just a blessing um, to be part of what we've created. For a long time, I I had a hard time putting myself as a Mexican or as an American. Now it's easier for me to say I'm, I, I'm an immigrant in the United States. That for sure I know. And I'm reminded a lot. Although, um, People have been inviting to me. I've been made to feel like I don't belong here often. Which is basically by the way I look, uh, by the way I speak. And people have reinforced that feeling within me by politics in the United States. In 2012, pasó algo extraordinario. Por primera vez en su vida, miles de jóvenes tendrían la oportunidad de aplicar a DACA, un programa que les daría protección contra la deportación y derechos básicos como el obtener un permiso de trabajo. If you are undocumented, you can't you live in a constant state of fear. Fear of being stopped by the police, fear of 
not being able to work and provide fear of everything. You just constantly are in fear. And DACA basically gave me a, a safety net. And although it doesn't, it doesn't expand to my, my parents, I feel like by extension, I can help them. DACA was a, a door to, to have a peace of mind. I've been given an opportunity to do something with my life, although it was taken away at an earlier age for not having it. Now having it is kind of a reason to, to live, to like keep going, to, to create openly, to, to breathe. when DACA was passed, and I was still scared to apply for DACA. I didn't apply until 2015, I think, 2016. Simply because I was scared, I didn't want to, I was, I guess you could say comfortable with, that, with what I was doing, even though it wasn't what I wanted to do. I was helping my parents with their janitorial company, and I was just stuck there for a while. And after that, I was, I decided, you know what, let's try this DACA thing. I applied for it and that opened up so many doors for me. It opened up opportunities, it opened up the art world again. So I had stopped painting for a while and it just brought me back to what I really wanted to do for my, in my for me, for my life, basically. En Estados Unidos, hay más de 580.000 beneficiarios de DACA, quienes provienen de más de 195 países. Isaac y Rodrigo han hecho más de 45 murales en Kansas City. Sus obras de arte son vistas por muchas personas y podríamos decir que hacen la ciudad de Kansas City más bella. No solo pintan murales, sino también hacen esculturas y pinturas. Ellos son un pilar de la comunidad y su alcance se extiende más allá de ser latino. Creo que ellos representan a la humanidad en general y nos dejan un mensaje claro. Los tiempos han cambiado y tal vez DACA se extienda o se termine. Eso no lo sé. Pero lo que sí sé es que ser latino es ser parte de una coloría comunidad multicultural llena de personas que con paciencia y perseverancia logran hacer sus sueños realidad.